This is how you can get a bot banner and an animated bot banner for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and get a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also offer any of these four bot packages that are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. And finally, if you'd like to get the full zip file of the exact bot used in these videos, you can go ahead and get a bot tier. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. Alright, so in order to do this, you're going to go ahead and go to the developer portal, which is in the description below, and you're going to actually have to go over to bot, um, and then from here you're going to see banner, and you can go ahead and select the image to change your banner. I'm just going to go ahead and select a random image here, and it's just going to show up like that. Let's go ahead and click save changes. And if we go over back into the Discord, we can actually go ahead and find our bot. And now, as you can see, we have a bot banner using the same image we put in in the developer portal. But as you can see here in the official Discord API announcement, uh, you are able to add a static and a GIF banner, but you can only access the... Uh, GIF banner using the API. So you can only add animated banners using the Discord API. If we were to try to change this image to maybe an animated logo, in order to do that, we'd have to actually select all files and then we could choose a GIF. Um, we could actually go ahead and save it. And I believe it's going to update but even though we used a GIF here, back in the Discord, we go ahead and click on our bot here. We used a GIF. It is an animated emoji or an animated icon. It is going to appear static on the actual banner. So in order to make an animated banner, uh, let's go ahead and write some code using the Discord API to do so. So over in the code, let's go over to other and we're going to go ahead and create a banner.js. Let's go ahead and define our slash command builder, our embed builder, our roots and our data resolver. And let's go ahead and get our discord.js package just like this. Next, let's go ahead and do module.exports and we're gonna go ahead and get owner, which is gonna be true. Uh, this is a system that I've set up. I believe there's a video on it on my channel or you could just make a permissions check. Uh, then we can go ahead and do data and that's going to be our new slash command builder. We're going to go ahead and set a name and this is going to be our bot banner. We can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say add a bot banner to your bots. We can actually just say add a banner to your bot. That'll be a little nicer. Then we can add an attachment option and we're going to do option arrow function. And we can go ahead and do options that set name. And this is going to be your banner. And we're just going to go ahead and set a description to the banner to add. And we can also go ahead and set required to true. Then we can add a comma and we're going to do async execute. We're going to get our interaction and we can open this up. We're going to start off by defining our options from our interaction. And we can do const banner equals options that get attachment. And that is going to be our banner attachment just like that. Next, we're going to do async function and we can do send message and we're going to go ahead and get our message parameter and we can open this up. We're going to start off by getting our embed, which is going to be our new embed builder. And we can set a color, which is going to be set to blurple here. Then we're going to go ahead and set our description to message and we can go ahead and send this by doing a way to interaction or apply. We can get our embeds and that is going to be our embed. And we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true on that message there so that only the sender of the message can actually see that message. Then we're going to go ahead and do if and we can do banner and we can do dot content type is not equal to and we can do image slash gif and we can do and and we can do banner dot content type is not equal to and we can do image slash png then we're just going to go and return await and we can send our message and i'm just going to go in and get a caution emoji and we can go ahead and say please use a gif or png format for banners just like that you could technically do JPEG or a couple others, but I think it's just easier for the code if we limit it to PNG and GIF. Uh, so next, let's go ahead and do var error. And next, we're actually going to come up here and we're going to go ahead and define our client. And then under the error, we're going to go and say await. And we can do client.rest.patch. And we're going to get our roots. And we can do .user. And we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our body, which is going to be our banner. And we can do await data resolver. And we can do dot resolve image. And we're going to get our banner.url. Um, and then we can actually come outside of that. And we're going to go ahead and catch our error. And we can go ahead and set that to true. And we're going to do wait, send message. And we can go ahead and get a caution emoji here. And we're just going to get an error. And we can do backslash tick. We can get our error.toString. 
just like that, and we can finish our backslash ticks off. Now, uh, weight is undefined, so let's go ahead and define that by adding an async up here, so we can turn that into an async function. Now, I would like to point out that I actually got the rest code from this user here uh, from my Discord, so if you'd like to get it from here, that is an option. Um, I actually decided to do it like this instead of using the fetch API because this is way simpler, um, a lot less code, and it just works honestly way better. So um, feel free to copy this code from here, and thank you to this user um, for sending the code in my server. So after we do that, all we have to do is check to see if we have an error, and we can just go and return, and then we can do a wait send message, and we're gonna go ahead and get a globe emoji, and we can go ahead and say, I have uploaded your banner, just like that. So with that, we are actually done with the code portion. So let's go ahead and restart the bot and test this out to add a GIF banner to your bot. All right, so over in the Discord, let's go ahead and test this out. Now, I am gonna be using a different bot for this. The bot that we used before got this uh, logo and it was supposed to be animated, but it's not. So let's go ahead and run the command on the other bot and let's go ahead and get that exact same logo. It's gonna be an animated uh, GIF, so you can see it's actually animated here. And when we go ahead and send it, it's going to go ahead and think for a second. And then it's going to say, I've uploaded your banner. So now if we go ahead and open up our bot, as you can see, we have a nice animated banner that works perfectly. So the last thing we can go ahead and do is let's just try to add a non-animated banner just to show that uh, it's working well with both PNG images and GIF images, because really... Uh, the entire point of this code is to be able to add animated banners because you cannot do that in the developer portal, but it's always good to uh, be able to add a PNG through the code as well because sometimes this is more convenient. So let's go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's going to say, I've uploaded your banner. Now, if we go ahead and open this up, we have a brand new banner. Um, this is a static banner, but as you can see, it works for both the GIF banner and the PNG banner. So that's you can make an advanced banner system and get a banner for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.